I'm gonna show you yourself. I give up. I give up. I give up. Let me go back here. Do I have to probably check something again? Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back in here and just check everything. We've checked that. We've checked that. Is somebody still sleeping there? You left the blankets a mess. Are you going to fold it? Like, I had a really good nap and like, I was thinking of leaving it like this. So like, it's all set for tonight. What? You know what? Bitch. Lil Jimmy is just there, standing there. So what if I don't say anything? What, what if I just... Okay, let's go back here. Let's examine. A piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters, probably... Um... Esoteric knowledge, only mediums would know. Let me see, there's one in English that says 1,000 ways to save money or 100 ways to save money. Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. Yes, it is. Because, I mean, people have to believe in the shit. It's kind of like palm readers in Manhattan. Sometimes I'm walking past a certain place in Manhattan and they're like, oh, I can read your palm. Someone with a lot of skill wrote these four Chinese characters with a brush. Oh, look, here's a translation. Once in a lifetime. The message is people should value their ghostly meetings as once in a lifetime chances. Mm. Mm. Let me check outside. I feel like I have to do something specifically with that, with the little Jimmy. I probably have to show her something. All right, June 19th. Oh, a lot of hearts back outside. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right by her. Gong! Things that southern people say, God don't let it be me next. Don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine. Okay. Any ideas? Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not a good at handling this kind of thing. Oh, huh, what? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you. This is just too much, I'd say. What is too much? Being an occult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos more within your reach from now on. More glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh, yeah. Didn't she take pictures? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Show me the photos. Yeah, she took two. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Lotta, sorry, but my journalistic senses is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. You gotta beat those cops up. Ooh, ah! I don't know who's scarier, Lotta or... Lotta or the spirits? And why does it feel like we've been through this before? We have been through this shit before. Okay. June 19th? Okay. Oh, dear, madame. You have such an impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Uh -huh. All right, everybody. Listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation is not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone's, um, everyone here under the roof, wait, that everyone sleep here under the roof of Fay Manor tonight. Nah, I don't like the sound of that. Somebody else is about to die. It's about to be a double murder. It's about to be a double murder. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police, and I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. 
June 20th, 802 AM. Damn, we woke up bright and early. Yawn. Uh morning. I guess I must have nodded off at some point. Oh, Maya's okay. I should hurry up and go to the detention center. Please tell me that the detention center song is still the same. Nick! I... Maya. What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take a deep breath. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. Yo, that guy's been standing back there near that door since the beginning of time. Adam and Eve... Jesus and God, Arceus, they all made the Big Bang and shit. And then he's just still there. Like, he has not moved. I finally get to see you again. And it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak. And I couldn't control the spirit's power. So, I don't want to bring up the case quite yet. But you don't have to be nice to me. I understand. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. So you're the master or something of the Kurain school of channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. <laughs> but many people think that channeling isn't real. That is all just an act. Why is the first song so much better? <laughs> I love this song. It sounds so much better. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to get used to the second song. It's the second song sounds so much sadder and softer. Okay, but many people think that channeling isn't real. That it's all just an act. You believe, um, you believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole theta appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse. So Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. So you're telling me when you channel in spirits, you could just get sexier like on site. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay, we closed our eyes and I began channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. Kind of, that's no information. After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move. And it was unbearable. Really suffocating. It went something like that. I have no idea what to say about that. It was real. Okay, there was a really familiar smell, too, under the ground. Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is all... No, I guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? It? What's it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. 
What? What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it. Help me. Nick. Help me. I'm scared. Don't worry. I will. When is the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait. This jewel. This is called a Magatama. A Magatama! It's a magical charm and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Magatama received from Maya. So we gotta give that to little Jimmy. Let's go bother little Jimmy real quick. Kurain Village, June 20th. I have to save Maya no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened to the room yesterday? Music just brings back the nostalgia. The meditation rooms um, nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager, but it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. The murder yesterday. Ba, 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 ba. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school. How's she at school, bro? It's coronavirus season. She's not at school. Fame Manor side room. Oh, hey, like you're that guy from yesterday, the uh, dentist guy. No, no, I'm a lawyer. That's right, um, Mr. Smith Esquire. That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is Wright. Smith, right? Well, I got like three letters at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I study this thing called parapsychology at the college. I don't give a fuck. Um, you told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too. What I really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why did you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like... What was I talking about again? Yo, this girl is straight Pepega. If Lada ever wanted another genuine mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. So why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like, the medium's training or, like, how they inherit their spiritual powers. I suppose this village is a real thing after all. So, like I said, if I could stay here for, like, a little longer, she sure seems like the carefree type, at least on the surface. <laughs> Have you heard about the murder? It's, like, totally scary. She says with a silly smile plastered on her face. So do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray, I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too. That's right, her reaction yesterday when I asked was, she bit her hat. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? He says, I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh, like, a long, long time ago, I was like a patient, yeah. Well, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Fuck that bitch. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Oh my god, se pendeja bebiendo soda. Oh, Mr. Wright, good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya. And I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. 
namely tea so bitter that you lose your tongue and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir. She's one scary lady. Oh dear sweet Mystic Maya, Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions too while I still have the chance. What happened? I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean the awful tragedy? That man murdered me, so I killed him. Maya, step away. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. What happened to her in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Mystic Maya on the head to make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirit that of that nurse was inside the Mystic Maya body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. Uh, by the way, what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling the spirit. But Maya, I mean Mystic Maya, that was her first time channeling. So honestly, if you knew that the spirit medium was Brolic and you knew it was her first time channeling, shouldn't you have been in that room with her just to make sure she doesn't fuck up, in, in my honest opinion? Like, I feel like it was kind of stupid that this lady still let her go in there and do that when she was extremely inexperienced. That is why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that um, that would be calling uh, danger upon the client himself. I'm grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. Heirlooms? Is this Apex? And that would be... That folding screen, that is the Korean sacred writing, along with the Korean sacred urn. They are this village's most treasured possession. The urn and the, and the wall piece? If I ever found out what, um, that something happened to either one. Oh, the humanity. I for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some, um, dilapidated old screen after all. So how's Pearl today? Mr. Wright? Yes. In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. That's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy, and it's the pride of the Branch family. I feel like so far from looking at this story, I feel like Morgan had a bunch of shit to do with this. I feel like Morgan probably fucking is trying to frame Maya so Maya could go to jail because Maya is the one that has the fucking sacred bloodline and she's jealous of that shit. And she wants Maya out of the picture so she could put Pearl in the fucking picture to be the main bloodline fucking owner of the whole shit. Um, wow, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? Where's Lil Jimmy? Where's Lil Jimmy? Oh my god, where's Lil Jimmy? Bitch isn't even there. Or if this little damn probably from the humidity in the air, no matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to the pool of blood at the center of there. That's like no information.
there's a bullet hole. Oh, this, no, but how? How, 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 how? There's no way they gave little Jimmy, did they give little Jimmy a gun? Nah, there's no way, it's a hole. Could this have been made by a bullet? About eight inches off the ground is a small bullet hole that looks like a, ooh. Imagine they gave little freaking Jimmy a Glock. Mm, well then, I do believe it is time for me to make my leave. All right, please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? Mystic Maya pendeja. I will tell her. There's some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. I hope no one is hiding back there. Mm. Ah. Where's little Jimmy? Donde esta Jimmy Chiquito? Donde esta Jimmy Chiquito? Chiquito Jimmy! Fame Manor. Lil Jimmy! Ack, you surprised me. And how are you today? Hmm, I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing that she had yesterday. Hey, little buddy, look what I got here. I got a thing that's called Maya's Magatama. Do you want Maya's Magatama? Oh, yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Oh my god. I'm in trouble now. I made her cry. Fuck! If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next one they're gonna be channeling. That's, that's Mystic Maya's. Huh? She actually spoke. Who are you? I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, worked with Maya. You worked with Mystic Maya? You're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? I bet I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... Wait, what? Mystic Maya's friend? Wait, what? I missed that text. What did she say? I accidentally clicked A too fast. What did she say? Did she say that I'm Mystic Maya's boyfriend? Oh, Mystic Maya's special someone. Oh, I'm Mystic Maya's boyfriend. What? So then, of course. You're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow. It's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. Thank you, Owl Engineer. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. What? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by a little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Uh, what a wonderful relationship. What, what? I mean, we aren't. They just aren't like that. I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. So you don't want this? Please make sure to take good care of it. Yeah, I will. Is it okay for me to have such a priceless object? Okay, so let's talk. Are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so uh, revered. Revered? Revered? I don't know how to say that word. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Oh, oh sorry. But... If it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because because you're special to her. Aw, shit. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes. For example, I study the Korean technique. Uh, I get it. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer? Yup. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? <laughs> None that I know of. Wait. Are you telling me that you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. So what's um, that you've got there, Pearl? 
Oh, I found it yesterday. If you want it, I can give it to you. Accept. Alright. Well, if you really want to give it to me. Hee <laughs> hee. You look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in, ref in a refined manner, but she laughs in one too. Old jewel steel key. A green jewel is set in the center of the key's grip. In before, in before, in this game, there are, there are two of those fucking keys. Um, Mr. Nick, yes, Pearl, I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just wait. You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this um, Mega Matama, whatever the hell that thing's called? Yeah, it's okay. It was told to give it, um, to be given to you, but I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Did she do it? Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What the fuck did she just do? What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding um, hiding a secret. Let's go see that bitch inside there. Let's go, Pearl. Let's go see that cat bitch. June 20th, Fame Manor side room. Hello again. We seem to be seeing um, a lot of each other today. Oh, she looks like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No. How do you think I am? We're gonna talk to this pendeja, the victim. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I like totally don't know him. Mentirosa! Bro! Did we just put this bitch in the velvet room? Let's execute her! <laughs> We're gonna put her in the goddamn guillotine. Put your head down, bitch. Put your head down! Guillotine. Be like, alright, sisters, let's go. Be like, Caroline, get that chainsaw. Justine, stop playing around, man. Put that notebook down. Caroline, the chainsaw. <laughs> Just gonna put this bitch down. We're gonna we're gonna have a accidental fusion. He says, "You can see it, can you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on the person's heart." Huh? Huh? What? This is the power of the Magatama. Not terrible, right? But not impressive. Definitely, that's gonna be this character. Only you can see these um, psych locks, Mr. Nick. Yo, thank you for the 100 bits, man. Psych locks? The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Let's remove the lock. You must be careful, though. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I got to start somewhere. Let's give the Cyclops thing a try. I'm going to ask you again. Did you know Dr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a rogue. This girl is hiding something. I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. All right, so first I have to use Maya's Magatama. Wait, what the fuck? Present the Magatama? Oh my God, because I'm like, I thought it was supposed to automatically just freaking, um. All right, Pendeja, don't. Oh my god, I believe you do know who is, um, Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? While it may be possible that, um, you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe that you might have, um, that you might have at least indirectly known him. 
Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility existed. I have no proof. What is the proof? There's like no, I got no proof. I have no evidence, so I gotta go get some. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh, I really feel bad for you. Um, just this once. I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe, yeah. But I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. Haha. <laughs> I'm not scary, honest. Wow. I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real genuine pistol. Why would you show her a whole blicky? Detective Gumshoe, what are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. Maya's guilt. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You got a proof? Yeah, pal. The puffy-haired photographer is going to testify tomorrow. He must be talking about Lada, actually. Speaking of Lada. She says she took two pictures. I took some hot pictures earlier. Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. A lot of hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, there's no way anyone other than Maya could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? About Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid um, shows last year. I was looking through some newspapers from last year, and I could have sworn I had cut an article out but i guess i must have lost it he's searching through the pockets and boy are those big look really interesting too hey do you have a copy pal a copy of that article i think dr gray might have bought a copy or brought a copy onto the office when he came by oh about maya's child tomorrow i've got two pieces of news for you pal two yeah bad news and even worse news so which one do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. All right. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is prosecutor. V no. 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 No, please. No. Oh. God damn it, man. Von Karma? Oh my god. Objection. <laughs> man, Fred Von Karma, he was an awe inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career and he raised a fearsome disciple the horrible aftertaste of evil he force fed me is something i'll never forget oh my gosh wait a second but didn't von karma stand trial that's what i was that's what i was just about to say didn't he go to court didn't he lose didn't he get arrested for something that's where the other pieces of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually a successor. Huh? So, um, who is this successor to, to Von Karma? 
Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. His kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial. So I'm going up against a little Jimmy? That's what they call prodigy, pal. Wait a sec. 13? A kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean, a prodigy like that? I would have heard something about. Oh, no, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stuff, and it's a great place to develop a person's talents. German, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. Oh, my God. And I get a terrible flashback to that case. Oh, my goodness. That case was terrible. Oh, my God. Stop it. Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix. None of that matters anymore, and now he's gone. Oh, my gosh. Didn't he say something about a newspaper? Feels like I've been gone forever, but it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper that Dr. Gray brought the other day? Right there. Ah, here it is, right on the top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died from malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Didn't that girl say that that she was um that she was one of his patients? Ba -da -da -da! Ba -da -da -da. What's up, bitch? Take that. But that is a possible connection because she said that that she's been um that she was one of his patients maybe I gotta find more proof that news story it's the one about the malpractice suit 14 patients died and it caused a huge stink yeah that's not all pal things only get worse after that you mean the car accident the nurse died in hmm oh here we go again i brought my own clipping with me today here pal this is for you all right thanks newspaper clipping two added mimi mining nurse at gray surgical clinic died oh oh she was the murderer. She was the murderer. That's it. She was the murderer. Case closed. 
She was the murderer. Case closed. That's her motive. She killed him because... Because, um, her sister. That was her sister that got killed. Her sister got killed. Because of him. Shit. Oh, man. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Miney. Miney is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Mimi Miney wouldn't wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So you noticed she was my older sister. Uh oh. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister. She was a nurse, perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic. Who the fuck is calling me? Hello? Son, what did I tell you? The guy who fucked up his foot, now he's like, yo, I can't come in tomorrow. Bruh, I gotta work an 11-hour shift tomorrow. Oh, my God. Son, I literally just hung up on him. I'm like, bro, just, just, I just hung up on him. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I am this close to quitting this fucking job. I was supposed to leave early tomorrow because I opened. So now I got to work tomorrow from 8 o'clock to 7. I got to work from 8 to 7. That is fucking bullshit, bro. Yo. Just quit, son. You're better off pursuing the voice acting career, man. Hold up. Let, let me hit on my general manager real quick. I'm about to be like...
Because what gets me mad is like, what gets me mad is he bro he fucked up his foot out of pure infantilism. I know that's not even a word. I just I just fused the word infantile and ism at the end, but it was just pure infantilism. He was acting like a child because he got mad that he lost his phone and he decided to kick a metal cabinet. That is not my fault. So now his foot is fucked up and now I got to stay the whole day tomorrow working. That's not fucking fair, bro. Oh my gosh. Hold on, man. Bro, that... That is so not fair. I just hit up my, my general manager. Bro, he's calling. I'm not even going to pick up his. He calling me again right now. He got a temporary phone. He's big mad. I think he just bought an Android. And he was a and he was a um, iPhone person from like day one. I'm not picking up his call. I'm mad at him now. He calling me right now. I am not fucking. I'm not picking that shit up. Like that. Like, like come on, man. All right, let me see. Um, your sister, she was in the nurse. She was at um, Dr. Gray's Surgical Clinic. Gray Surgical Clinic? I don't think I need to tell you um, that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. It's over. Now she has to talk about it. You said, what if he's watching this stream? At this point, I don't even care, man, because it's fucked up. He says, please tell me um, all you know about Dr. Gray. Oh, her sister was kind of, ooh. But I mean, like, she probably looks the same way. It's just her eyes are closed. But goddamn, when her eyes are open, she's looking a little evil. You said, those boots fucked you up? Yo, I should have sold those Balenciagas. Oh my god. Now he's sending me a picture of his damn foot. <laughs> Yo, his foot is really swollen, son. <laughs> Yo, his foot is really swollen, bro. He took he took he sent me a picture of his fucking feet. <laughs> Look at this shit. He sent me a picture of his, his, his right foot is swollen, is bigger than the left. Oh you see the bullshit that I got to go through, son? You see the bullshit I got to go through? Oh my goodness, bro. Yo, his, yo, his right foot actually looks fucked up. His shit is swollen as hell. Why is he texting me telling him to text the, bro. Oh my god, son. I gotta I gotta work. I gotta work so long tomorrow. Oh my god, dude. You said how he fucked up his foot. He got mad because he fucking lost his iPhone and he and he, he started kicking a metal cabinet and he kicked it like six times out of pure rage and frustration. And then afterwards, after he kicked the living shit out of it, his foot like started to feel the effect afterwards. You said in before banned for showing feet? Can you get banned for showing feet? Uh, my sister's name was Mimi Miney. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that like Dr. Gray was really tough on people, like totally a slave driver. My sister was like always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out. Damn, sounds kind of relatable. So is that why she fell asleep on the wheel? Mm. That guy like drove my sister so hard. So like that's why the accident happened. Um, the one where 14 patients died was from malpractice or malpractice. Yeah, like I think that was the doctor's fault too. My sister was pushed by like everyone's expectations and like her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So like, are we done? I've like already told my story to like everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how Cyclop works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. We're the phantom thieves now, bro. The lock this time was pretty easy, but you might meet who um, people who aren't willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Okay. That automatically makes her a, a, a suspect, though. Alright, 
so he gave me that. Did it go outside? Yeah. He said, friendly reminder that XQC got banned for three days for showing one frame of an unrecognizable pixelated dick. Really? I don't know, man. Bro, this guy really fucked up his foot. And then I asked him on the phone. I'm like, yo, so how long? Because like that's because that's the thing too, right? Because I told him, I said, wait a minute. So how long are you going to be out for? Because if this is like a one day thing, okay. But I'm like, so how? Because I have to work with him tomorrow and the day after tomorrow on Monday and Tuesday. So I was like, so how long is this going to be? And he's like, I don't know. And I'm like, what do you mean I don't know? Is this going to be a week-long thing? Am I going to have to work every day 11 hours? I'm like, dude, I'm I'm just going to hightail it. I'm about to be like, yo, buy Anara. He said, just fire him. It's not even like just fire him. It's like they got to gotta give me some backup. So what's wrong? He says, I have never left Kurain Village. Really? Wow, that's um pretty amazing. You're going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait, she ran off. Again. Well, I know in his secret now. I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. Mm. Should I go, like, to the, to the detention room? Yeah. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? Is it my boy Edgeworth? That voice. Teta Mia? Teta Mia? Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Yo, Mia could get it hands down, bro. Mia, she's Maya's older sister and my mentor. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. And especially when it's bad, you, know, you can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. But, so tell me about it. I'm going to guess that my sister's in a lot of trouble again. I told her everything about what happened in the last few days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is, tell me please. Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete... What? The, the, the acquittal of your client? Not guilty. You think Maya's not guilty? I know she is. And I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes. Mediums can't have dreams. But she said she had a dream. It sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears, which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then what does that mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A setup? 
it's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. It is? Okay, just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. Really? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key? Alright, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. Have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that happened in this case. This key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it should be... No, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. And the facts that it contradicts is that there should only be one key. But there's more than one key, isn't there? What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But, but, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who? Who could have... Hmm... I didn't know at this time that this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. Mia, what? What's wrong? That's right, only I can see the Cyclops. Which means Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under a lock and key from even from me, what in the world is going on? To be continued? Fucking A. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aw, shit. Oh, let me see, bro. So he did not get that iPhone. Because what's crazy is once this man was like, hey, he's like, hey, we're going to have to Google Duo. Once he said Google Duo, I was like, <laughs> he didn't say FaceTime. He said Google Duo. I was like, I don't think he got an iPhone. Oh, as a matter of fact, no, he does have it. Because there's no way in hell that he would get uh, an Android phone. He's using his iPhone 7. This is so stupid, bro. Ain't nobody got time for this, bro. Okay. Yo, I'm telling you. I'm about to I'm about to PTO my ass. Off. Yo, when he comes back, I'm about to PTO to the moon and back and then fucking quit. That's what I'm about to do. This is some bullshit. You said, just say you have the coronavirus and you can't come in. Nah, you need proof. You need actual proof from the doctors that you have the coronavirus. And to be honest, I don't want to get the coronavirus. Because from what I heard, I heard you lose your hair when you get the virus. All right. What? Prosecutor Von Karma, you mean? No, I heard it's his successor this time. Successor? You said, wait, you do? Yeah, I saw a video of a lady on the internet. It was like some white lady. She, she, from, and it's a lot of people. If you have, if you have, or catch, look, if you catch the coronavirus, from what I've been seeing, you lose your hair. Cause there was a lady on the internet where she was a coronavirus patient. And when she started combing her hair, big chunks of hair started coming out. Let, let me see if I can find the video so I can show it to you guys. It's a right here, this shit. Look, right here. I saw this shit. 
long-term side effect of COVID-19, losing clumps of hair. It happened to Alyssa Milano. So what's going on? I just wanted to show you the amount of hair that's coming out of my head as a result of uh, COVID. Alyssa Milano is revealing her struggle with a distressing side effect of COVID-19. One brushing. Look at the hair! From COVID-19. That's a lot of hair! Alyssa is not alone. Ever since I got COVID, my hair falls out like it's nobody's business. Other recovering COVID patients are taking to social media, sharing their- Bro! I could pull out hair right now. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Bro! Lisa Cabrera was hospitalized with COVID-19 in April. I'm doing it. Here she is on the road to recovery. Look, I got a lot of hair, bro. I got a lot of hair. I got I got ponytails, bro. I don't want to catch COVID. Put it up in a ponytail, it comes out. I don't want to catch COVID. It comes out. It's just in the shower. Look at that. The most. Mounds would come out. Mounds. Teresa used to have thick and curly locks, but check out how much hair she lost the night before our interview. The night before the interview. The so night. What's going on? Dermatologist Dr. Angela K. Lamb says it's not technically a direct symptom of the coronavirus. It's actually brought on by stress. It's really caused by a condition that we know about in dermatology where people lose their hair after a stressful event. And a virus is a stressful event. But there is hope for people experiencing COVID-related hair loss. The hair does grow back, thankfully. You will get your You don't know that. The hair grows back, thankfully. We don't know that. For all we know, they could be bald forever. I'm not taking that chance. I am not taking that chance. Like, oh yeah, my hair could grow back. Hell no. I don't want to catch COVID because I have a lot of hair on my head and I like my hair. I don't want to lose my damn hair. Manfred von Karma, um, a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks. Also, he could win. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. Objection! He had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get um, each of those guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be. He said, but can you lose the hair under your pants? He said, it's no good, Mystic Maya. Oh, little Pearl. Pearly. You showed up. Thanks for coming all this way. I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees. She said that having training for two days straight with no breaks. No, that they have training for two days with no um two days of training with no breaks. He says, huh? Then you came all by yourself? Yep, I snuck out of the manor and followed him after. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not. I ran. <laughs> That's, I can't, oh my, if it takes two hours by train, she ran here, it took two hours by the train to get here, and she ran here. Pearly, what about the train? Huh? What's a, tr what's a tray in? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. A. G. Worth? Who is that? Um, he's Nick's rival. Well, he's also a friend. Objection! I still remember him as though I'd seen my... Okay, I, that I've seen him only yesterday. Objection! Every trial was a scorchingly fierce battle until the very end. Objection! Objection! It was always back and forth with them. But when you're rivals for life, Maya... Please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot. You don't know. He... He's... He's gone. And he's not coming back. What? Wait. Wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Let's go. Now's not the time to talk about that anyway. Nick? 10 a.m. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? 
What is with this kid? I don't even get to see him because I pressed A so fast. Mr. Wright, are you prepared? Ah, uh, yes, Your Honor. Why does he always um, seem mad at me? Oh, it's a freaking... Oh! So it's Von Karma! Girl! Mr. Phoenix Wright? You must be a little shocked because I am a woman, correct? A little bit. Hold on, so she's the famed successor to Prosecutor Von Karma? I am Fran Francisca Von Karma. I'm gonna call you Franny. Franny Von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Revenge? Is this about her father, Manfred Von Karma? Um, if it's something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can. Did she just whip him? I'm talking. If you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. Please speak with your mouth like a normal person, I beg of you. Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix, right? Prosecutor Von Karma, your opening statement, please. Those of Von Karma blood have only one fate. And that is perfection. The defendant, Maya Fey, will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. Very well. What is the defense's position? Your Honor, does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool. Um, who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. Friendly got to whip. She can whip me any day of the week. She can dominate me. Okay, Okuro. She can dominate you. I feel like that whip's gonna hurt, though. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense? A plea usually... Reserved for when a person unintentionally kills in defense of themselves. We could very easily make a solid case that it was self-defense, but... The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because the plea justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. How foolish. If that's how you want to play Mr. Phoenix right, then I shall now call the first witness. She's just as scary as her father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Witness, your name and occupation? Yes, sir. My name is Big Dick Ventilator Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct. She just whipped him? Get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Yes, sir. Um, if everyone would please look at this map. The channeling, um... She could have just used the, the the winding way, like the little outside area to just go into the channeling chamber. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. That's the truth. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Um, they were, well, uh, channeling a spirit, sir. Channeling a spirit? That's quite the look of disbelief there, Your Honor. Ahem. Anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, the gunshots were heard coming from inside the room. A few, uh, a few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. And that's when they found that the victim was already dead, correct? I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever um, proceeded over. Floor plans added to the court record. So, how was the victim killed? It was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time then. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead. The shot was fired from point blank range. But before the victim was shot, he was stabbed in the chest. 
The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish off the victim after the stabbing. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. Point blank. The court accept it in, okay, accepts it into the evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Okay. Alright, let's try this. The murder weapon detective gumshoe. Whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim's? Now, why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point is... Okay that you are missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victims, the defendant Maya Faze were also on the grip, sir. Oh shit. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Shit. So about how far is that? 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Mr. Phoenix, right? I'm real tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. Excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes the bullet fire. And that gets real hot, pal. Hmm. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow. Never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. But before the victim was shot, he was stabbed in the chest. Stabbed? And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. Looks like it belongs to Faze, sir. And of course, Maya Faze's fingerprints are all over it. All over it, huh? This does not look good. What will you do now, Mr. Wright? The wounds were very severe, but not enough to cause this to see his death. How severe was the wound? Half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This testimony makes it sound like Maya had stabbed him with the intent to kill. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yup. Sure as can be. One look at the wounds and you'd come to the same um, conclusion too, pal. a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. I hate this bitch. A pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter then which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix, right? Yo, there's nothing I can go on. We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Shit. We might take an L here. Court accepts them to the evidence. Murder weapon. Bears Maya's and Gray's finger um, fingers. Two shots were fired. Two shots? A knife, murder weapon, small fruit knife belongs to Faze. Bears Maya's. Fingerprint. The fuck. Uh, June 19, 315. Eyewitness claims to have heard two gunshots at this time. And two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them, huh? This does seem like an open and shut case. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. It is. 
as if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there's no room left for doubt, is there? Shit! That is quite true, Mr. Wright. Yes, even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See, just as I promised, Mr. Wright, you wouldn't change your plea in less than 10 minutes. Or that you would change your plea in less than 10 minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justified self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. Well, we gotta plead not guilty. Because that's the point of the game. If we plead justify self-defense, we would basically be confessing to murder. After the trial, Maya's life will be ruined and she'd be labeled as a murderer. I can't let that happen. Your Honor, have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of a complete acquittal. Acquittal? Acquittal? I don't know. Acquittal. Did she just whip me? You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix, right? Detective? Yes, sir. Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Um, yes, sir. Now, see here, proceedings are run by... Oh, yes, of course. Detective... Go ahead, detective, and give your testimony. I think the court will like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. Incriminating evidence? Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume that the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. Oh, there's a hole on the shirt! There's a hole on the shirt! The defendants attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. So this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of a back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links Maya Fay to the crime, sir. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Clothes my Faye was wearing at the time of the murder. There are blood splatters on it, and there's also a hole on it. Maya's fingerprints on the on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes. Could the situation get any worse? What's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to sulk off with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Please, stop calling me by my full name. It's disturbing. Incriminating evidence. <sighs> Why didn't you say this in your testimony earlier? Uh, you're kind of scary today. You know that, pal? Come on now, Mr. Wright. There's no need for that kind of attitude in the court. All right, just please stop glaring at me like that. It's the costume. Maya's costume? Yeah, she was wearing this when, she, um, when we arrested her. She was wearing her channeling costume today, too. Is she not allowed to wear anything else? As you can see, it's covered in blood. Is the blood on the costume? Wait, this is the blood on the costume. The lab results show that it is the victim's blood. So there is blood from the victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. So, were there any other clues you could glean from this piece of evidence? Um, well, if you must change the topic, then the good detectives here must testify again. But too bad, not enough time, let's move on. Ah, yes, Miss Von Karma is perfectly correct. Not even the judge is on her side. But if I bite off more than I can chew, what do I do? Fuck it, press further. Let's not be a bitch. Why is Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out that and not an objection like that. Because there's a hole in her shirt! There must be something about this costume. I just have to look harder. It's just right there, right in front of my face. I'm looking at it right now, look! <laughs> Mr. Wright, Miss Von Karma's logic is perfect. There's no way for you to poke a hole in it. Oh my god. Looks like my time is up. There's one little thing. Your Honor, 
Actually, there's something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about? Pal? Where's this problem you're talking about? I've come this far. There's no turning back now. The problem that I have with this piece of evidence is obviously the collar is not long enough. Maya Faye's neck is at least a 16, and this is a 42. Give me a second. Bro, that was the district manager calling me. The district manager. And he's like, and you know what's crazy? The district manager is actually new. So he's calling me and he's like, hey, man, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> he is the district manager and he is new. So obviously his pay grade is like way higher than mine. And he's talking to me like, hey, so does this happen often? I'm like. Buddy, I'm telling you, if I leave right now, <laughs> it's going to be, uh, you, know, see, you, you see, you see how, you see how much of a good worker I am. I want to leave like really badly, but I'm not leaving just due to the simple fact that I know I'm shooting them in the foot. If I, if I leave right, right now. And then he was asking me, does this happen often? I'm like, not that I know of, but right now it's like completely terrible timing that is happening. He says, so you ultra promoted. Man, I ain't getting promoted for shit. They, they didn't even give us hazard pay when, coronavi when coronavirus started. We've been working there and we haven't gotten hazard pay or nothing. They don't give a fuck about me. You know what? Why the fuck should I give a fuck about them? Yo, to be honest, bro, I, I, sh I should leave just because of that, bro.
I don't even think I don't even think my general manager knows what the fuck happened to his foot. Cause she's telling me right now, she's like, she's like, she's like, he's still called out. I'm like, yo, if she calls me right now, I'm about to, I'm about to go on full time snitch mode. Cause I'm like, this is stupid. I asked the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? There's a tiny hole here. Listen, if you work and you feel like shit or people are giving you the cold shoulder, just get out of there and find somewhere else where people can respect you and feel better true oh my god it's like i'm one of those type of fucking pe yo i'm one of those type of people that i feel guilty if i dip out just like that like if i just if i just dip i feel bad but i'm supposed to be in the mentality of if i'm getting cucked i'm supposed to leave like honestly like realistically speaking if i'm in an environment where i'm not getting the proper treatment and i'm not being like compensated properly for said things that are happening I have to leave. Exactly. Grand Guns also says you're too soft. That's literally me. I'm too soft. I feel guilty if I if I leave. You're in a shitty environment though. Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to talk about this because this shit is gonna steer away from the goddamn trial. Let's continue the trial and I'll talk about it like real soon. Hold up. Oh hold, but it wasn't in the report. I said hold on. What is this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder. Ooh-wee! Gunpowder? No one ever told me. A hole that smells of gunpowder? It looks like I found a hole I was looking for. You said just get signed by TSM and you can quit? That means I'm gonna have to start doing Valorant streams. I'm gonna have to start playing Valorant. Bro, don't feel guilty. Give your two-week notice and let them know you don't wanna take the BS anymore. I, sh I should give them a two-week notice. But you know what it is? I feel like if I... Look, here's the thing. I don't even want to give a two-week notice because that's that's kind of my thing. I kind of just want to dip. Like, just outright dip almost. I don't want to give a two-week notice. Because then if I give a two-week notice, then this motherfucker with his foot is going to be like, All right, all right, I'm going to come into work. Because look, here's the thing. I'm his ride to the... I'm his ride to like his... <laughs> I'm his source of food to that area. I'm, yo, if I just outright dip... Oh my god. Give me a second. I'm about to tell fam about this. G give me one second. Hold up.
Oh, yeah. So I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't. I don't know yet. For all I know, for all I know, at the end of the month, at the end of the month, I, I might be quitting. Yeah, cause, cause shit's ridiculous. You said I only had one job. Full-time streamer soon, maybe. Maybe. And the craziest part is, is I was getting close to working in this job for a year, but yeah, honestly, like this job right now is is just it's just like like I have not been seeing anything like positive. All I've been seeing is, is shit going down shambles. You said quit and become a voice actor? Oh my god. This order, order. This is a very grave matter. It's best we correct the court record first before anything else. Mai's costume updated in the court record. Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. I mean, I guess one thing is is going to be positive if if I become full time. That backlog is going to be going down hella fast. <laughs> is she actually smiling? Who? What else is she hiding? Put yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony. That just now was a fluke, nothing more. How can you say something like that? That's a huge oversight. Well, I agree. It is a mistake on the part of the police. What Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find more definitive, uh, more definitive problem with the evidence, then no way. Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. He wasn't fighting back. How would you know if he was or wasn't? We couldn't find no evidence that the victim put up any sort of struggle, pal. So did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around this murder changed drastically. Uh, we're in real trouble now. If only I had something to prove that the victim did fight back. That Von Karma, she thinks she can decide the verdict with this testimony alone. Something that the victim fought back? Was it maybe the knife? No, it couldn't be the knife. It's a murder weapon. A small fruit knife belongs to FaZe. There's Maya's fingertips. I said fingertips, fingerprints. Why is everyone in the chat so fucking... <laughs> everyone in the chat is like, nah. Like, I'm serious. You have to be a voice actor. Like, forget about everything else. Be a voice actor. <laughs> That's what everyone is just saying. Um, Something that proves that she fought back. The pistol, because the pistol, two shots were fired, bears Maya's and Gray's fingerprints. So if both of their fingerprints was on it, well, I think I'll find a critical contradiction somehow, and then I'll have her. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed the person without, without fighting back. But I mean, oh, my bad. At that moment, it, I feel like it has to be the gun, just just because it has um the two fingerprints on it. I will pay you good money to VA. Seriously, you got a hidden talent within you that you don't realize. Bro, I do not. I, I why does yo? I joke voice act. I don't. I don't actually voice act. I do it for shits and giggles, and everyone is like, nah, I'm serious. It's like you guys are gassing me up right now. Like, like have you ever watched like, you know the show American Idol? Do you want to be an American Idol? You guys right now are hyping me up like one of those guys in American Idol that comes in and then you see Simon Cowell is like, um, hello, what's your name? My name is Manny and I'm from New York. All right, Manny from New York, what are you gonna sing for us today? I'm gonna sing to you, Lil Jimmy went up to a sky. Lil Jimmy went up to a sky, why you choose that song? 
all my friends told me that I'm really good at singing, so I'm actually gonna try singing Lil Jimmy went up to a sky. Okay, carry on. Sing Lil Jimmy to a sky. <clears throat> Lil Jimmy to a sky. Lil Jimmy to a sky! And then Simon is just like, bloody hell, that was atrocious. That was garbage. It was trash. Kill yourself. I'm like, damn, bro, Simon, fuck! <laughs> Shit! Okay, the defendant attack. Okay, present. Like, that shit was beautiful. <laughs> Present. The evidence clearly reveals the contradiction that your statement, Your Honor. How exactly? They aren't, aren't they? If you Not want to become a voice actor, just do skits with different voices five head. Oh, did I hit the wrong one? Simon Cowell impression alone is proof enough that you have a talent. Wait, wasn't that the right one? This is the costume. As you can see, the defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. What, wasn't that the one that, that, that I pressed? Or did I press this one? It's this one. There was a fight back. Yo. Dead ass, if I was in your position, I'd stream full time and just do those goofy VA commissions on the side just to loop. That made me shed a goddamn tear. I, I don't think it was a happy tear. Stabbed in the chest and shot at point blank. Gunpowder residue in the bullet hole. You said only fans, and it's just gonna be pictures of my feet. Um. Didn't I present the gun in this one? Bro, I presented the gun. So I presented the gun to this one, so it's wrong. See, don't deny what you could achieve. It may not be your actual future, but it still sounds great. Bro, just try voice acting, please. Your voice acting and your personality is really amazing. I'd listen to your voice acting any day of the week. Mustro Hart. Oh my gosh. Guys. Stop gassing me up like a Mario Party minigame. Please! Retro, you have no Mana Kuba, my god, no! Hidden within you. I can't say that I'm a professional, but when I spot someone talented, I can't just lie to myself thinking they're not good at what they do. You have a wonderful voice, and to only present it as a streamer is really undermining yourself. You have so much potential. You can make it a hobby if you want. We love you and your talents. Careful wife who gifted a sub. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bro, I'm still on this. He said the defendant attacked and killed a person who without a doubt was not fighting back. But if he was not fighting back... fucking video game, bro. This is real life. You can hoo who in real life if you achieve our team. Have you called me by my full name? It's kind of a weird feeling. Yo, thank you, Grand Gonzalo and Mario fan and everybody. You said that my client Retro, killed a person. Your voice is saucy and I love your personality behind the voice. You make me smile. You're amazing. I love you, Retro Stro A A Stro Heart Stro A A A. Yo, y'all looking like Wario right now. Stop! Oh my gosh. Shit. God damn. I haven't even quit the job yet. Yet. My goodness. This this job is gonna be this job is gonna be the death of me. Thank you guys for the bits and uh and the kind words, man. Thank you. Yo.
You said Retro gonna make a Fire Emblem unit. He gonna be a unit in Fire Emblem? Oh, that'd be fun as hell. I wanna play as the old man. Make me like an old man dragon killer. I wanna be a one star unit though, just so I can make funny noises and then people will try to like five star me, five star plus 10 me, just to have me in their builds. They'd be like, yo, I got the Retro unit. You said that my client killed a person without a doubt who was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what may I ask is the bullet hole you police overlook supposed to mean? I'm thinking too far into the bullet hole thing. Oh no, wait a minute. I love you, bitch. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. <laughs> I love you, bitch. Yo, thank you, Mario fan. Thank you. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. So what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. This is what it means to not fight back? You're right. It seems you are correct. If the victim had tried to shoot the defendant, then it would change everything. All right. Then um, the wind seems to be shifting. What is with that? Are you finished? Wait, are you finished yet? Laugh? Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Miss Von Karma, it seems that Miss Maya Faye was shot at by the victim. However, okay, that is only grounds enough to support the justified self-defense plea. That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense clearly said, that he is not guilty. Yeah. Rejected justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty. Shit. Now that you... Why, that's right. Damn. Do it for me, I just wanna hear your sexy voice, bruh. I'm literally Do SMR please. I, I'm literally talking. Oh my god, you said SMR. Am I gonna have the microphone here with the two ears and I'm gonna be like Pokemon and shit? I'm gonna be like, hey. How are you? I'm just drinking some soda. Here's my cell phone. ASMR stream plus Craigasm. Imagine, imagine somebody actually does like an ASMR and they put their butthole right on the microphone and then they're like, get ready. Ayo ASMR exclusive content on your OnlyVans Lego. Oh my goodness. No. Well, that's true. Furthermore. Just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to um, substantiate even a plea of justified self-defense. How so? Ah. Don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell me the court... Wait, hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. With that new information we acquired Please added in, of course. ASMR for the love of Franny's whip. Your ASMRs are a bit too sus stro you. Yo, what are these non-stop bits? Screw it, become the anime girl tuber and attract all the weebs again that you were a girl. Oh shit, imagine if I become an anime VTuber, that'd be dope as hell. Hold on. Let's see. Baba Booey. That'd be the funniest shit. I would trick everybody for years upon years upon years and only the originals will remember who the hell I am. And then I'll start yelling out shit. I'd be here like this the whole time on stream. Hey guys. <laughs> Oni-chan. How are you, snack? <laughs> hey, Mono Bowie. How are you doing today? <laughs> Everyone would just be like, oh, fuck. I'm in love with... with." The <laughs> you want me to put together the scenario by myself? Ah. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Said Femtro. I'm going to be working at Hooters. During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up 
um, picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Nah. Nah. The scenario you have put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright, on the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. If you don't go to Sesame Street with that Elmo Asla, I swear <laughs> to God. Sesame Street? Now then, your cross-examination, please. Sesame Street with my Elmo ass laugh. I'm going to be wearing an Elmo suit at freaking... Uh, what's that shit called? Sesame Place. During the channeling of the defendant who saw her sad... Okay. There is quite the difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. Add in body strength, and it seems unlikely that the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess... You think you can get away with such a flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix, right? Maya Faye was in the middle of channeling, was she not? When channeling with the Korean channeling technique, the medium physically changes. With Fem Salt? Oh, shit. That would be interesting. But I think, like, I think we would, like, destroy the internet if we did that. With the nurse's bill, the defendant could have easily been a match for the doctor. I don't believe it. She even studied up on the Korean channeling technique. She knows about the channeling technique? Like I said before, I am perfect. What about you? Okay, about what you were talking about. I didn't quite get it. Um, never mind. Let's continue with the testimony. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up on the opening took the victim's gun and ended it. His testimony certainly makes us look very bad, but there's got to be a contradiction in there somewhere. And uncovering it is going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. During the channeling, the defendant saw her chances to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back. Okay. There's a quite different in height. Okay, I've already seen this. And then she told me the shit about the channeling. I had the wrong one. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back. So he was stabbed, but then the stab wound didn't kill him. How badly hurt would you say he was? I actually went to give the blood the other day, and afterwards I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. I guess the damage was maybe about 10 times the dizziness. Sorry. Okay. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like um, the victim, Dr. Gray, had specifically bought it for that day. But a handgun? He got it off the black market about two days before the murder. Why did Mr. Gray bring a, a gun? Was he taking precautions against something? He was. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and then ended it. So you're saying that the bullet hole in this costume was made then? Sorry, pal, but yeah, that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when the shot was fired. Maya, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. Uh-oh. The defendant then picked up the opening. He picked up on the opening, then took the victim's gun and then ended it. Maya has never fired a gun before in her life. The victim had already taken off the safety. With the safety off, even an amateur like you can fire it just by pulling the trigger. Even me, I wonder. Now, do you understand Avon Karma's logic is perfect? His testimony certainly makes us look very bad, but there's got to be a contradiction in there somewhere. And uncovering it is going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. Of course, the victim, while the two were fighting, the victim he took the victim's shot, but it was too close. The defendant then picked up and opened up the fire's victim's gun, and then it ended it there. Can I just present this shit right here? I'm about eight inches off the ground, a small hole that looks like a bullet hole. Shit, that's not gonna fucking work. Aw, oh, shit's not gonna work. Fuck! belongs to the face, didn't kill, clothes was wearing at the time of the murder, um, uh, two shots fired, 
bears, mines, and grace fingerprints. But where was the gun? Stabbed the chest in the shot point blank gunpowder residue in the bullet hole. Oh my god, I'm gonna get this shit wrong. Let me just reread the stuff. Fire the gun. But it's like, during the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. But isn't the order different? What if she shot at him first and then she stabbed him? The order must have been different. There's quite a difference in height. Added the body strength and it seems unlikely. Now that you mentioned it, yeah, I guess. He says, you think you could get away with such a flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix, right? Maya Faye was in the middle of channeling, was she not? And then she could also change body when channeling with the Korean channel. The victim used the last of his strength. Talk about this. He was taking precautions against something. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. But it's like, why would he do that? Well, would that have to link with the newspaper clipping a year ago? 14 patients die at Gray Surgical Clinic. Wouldn't that link to that? I don't even know. It's like, it's like, why, why would he? buy a gun from the black market that automatically looks sus like it's like he went there with the intentions of going to fight because that's what it sounds like he went there with the intention of trying to kill what happened at uni he died mm. oh my god man i cannot believe this shit bro he said mod abuse Pissing me off! Okay. Alright, chat. You're gonna have to help me with this shit. Because I'm literally stuck on this part. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. But how's he gonna miss? How did he miss? How 
do you miss point blank? Because they were too close, he missed? That makes no sense. How did he miss? Damn, I'm gonna freaking get this shit wrong. But it has both of their fingerprints. And two shots were fired. Two shots were fired. One was a missed shot, apparently, and one of them was a shot up there. But then they're not accounting the shot that went through her thing too much. They're not accounting that one too much. Oh my god. Up on the opening and the victim's gun and then ended it. Took the opening on the victim's gun and then ended it. has nothing to do with anything the map has nothing to do with anything in this stabbed in the chest and shot at point blank yo we've been here for a hot minute i have no idea what the hell it is because i'm about to get all of these wrong the victim took a shot but he was too close and he missed so how can he be that close floor plans of the ground like, see, that's gonna be wrong. And they take two points every time you're wrong in this shit. in the head shouldn't she have like blood all over her you said it's the hole how is it the hole it's like it's like we've presented the hole like two times already we gotta present the hole a third time in the close. To stab the victim, of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back. While the first two were fighting, the victim took the gun. And the victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. And then the defendant then picked up on an opening and took the victim's gun and ended it. But what? Can we just present the shit and be like, maybe the bullet came out from her shit and not actually from her shit? Bro. During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance. But then but then it's like how how in the middle of channeling did she see her chance? Because in the middle of channeling, don't you gotta go through like some sort of like shit?
Oh my god, bro. There's so much shit here that's like... Watch, it's gonna be a really stupid answer. It's gonna be like such a stupid answer. Yeah, that shit's gonna be wrong. I'm literally on my last leg. Use the last of his strength to fight back. But how can he fight back if you said that he was so dizzy and he was so tired? He had no last of he had no last of strength anything. Because you said that he was like almost passed out. Because because he said the last of his strength. He said that he was so dizzy. What last of his strength? You said use Maya's clothes on when and on when he said he the victim took a shot and missed? How? That how? How is that one it? Like we've we've talked about this like two this is the third time we're bringing up the shirt in the hole. Missing the tiny hole in the costume will be the prosecution's undergoing. This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testimony. But we've brought up this hole, this is the third time we brought up this hole. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. You said that the two of them were fighting when the victims fired the gun at point blank. If that were true, then where's the- Oh, the gunpowder burn, because if it's at point blank, the gunpowder burn is supposed to be on the- Wow, oh my gosh, bro. So maybe the gunpowder burn on that one is gonna be behind this shit because the bullet was fired from behind? This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. But there's not a single chase of gunpowder burn on this costume. Is there one behind it? Now check behind. That's a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix, right? You think that you could punch a hole in my logic with that? With wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything anyway. Then I implore you to disapprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then when they were separated that he fired. How was that? If, okay, if, as if that was even possible. According to the testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far after that. Oh, shit. Von Karma feeling kind of juicy. Well then. That's right, the, the defendant must have pushed the victim away. After stabbing him, she must have put some hate, um, space between the doctor and herself. And then while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took a shot. There, that should satisfy even you. And it does make an awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? I must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. Concentrate and think. There's a fatal flaw in her argument, Your Honor. Very interesting. I would love to see where this flaw is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has to be a snag in her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took a shot. When she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. So still, even if the... So if she was about to strike, that means that they were still kind of close to each other. No matter what. You said save. 
Oh, I'm about to save it for like this one. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts the line of thinking. Bro, I swear to God, I feel like it's it's the costume again in the hole. It's either the, the costume again, or it's either the size of the room being so small, or the folding screen. But I, I feel like the folding screen, we're not up to that part yet. This room is tiny as shit! Take a look at this. Why are you showing this to me, pal? Prosecutor Von Karma explanation in this piece of evidence. Do, you, do not contradict. Huh? Haha. <laughs> Looks like you need to use your brain a little more, pal. Uh, being lectured by Gumshoe of all people is so embarrassing. Come on, hurry up and get that thinking cap on. What? She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. There must be a piece of evidence that can't... When she was about to strike, the doctor took the shot. So obviously it's not the floor plans. Wait, did they mention that he took the first shot? I swear to God, if it's the costume again. If it's the freaking costume again, bro. I feel like it's the costume again. Because there's still no bullet hole on it. Brain meets. If he stabbed, she stabbed him the first time. She stabbed him, quote unquote, the first time, and he was too weak. So she pushed him off. So what is it? She used the knife again? But wasn't the knife only used one time? my brain is rusty nah my brain is not even rusty it's my whole shit got thrown off because of all this work shit that now i'm thinking about that i have to do tomorrow those fucking assholes there must be a piece of evidence that contradicts the line of thinking i'm trying to think Okay, if it's not the costume and it's the knife, murder weapon, a small fruit knife. You said read what they said? I don't think I could read what they said because I can't go back to the text. Uh, read, read what they said. It says there must be a piece of evidence that contradicts the line of thinking. Okay, this is not it, not it, not it. This is definitely not it. Not it, not it. About eight inches off the ground is a small hole that looks like a bullet hole. We don't bring that shit up just yet because they don't mention that shit. Um, they don't mention the black key. Uh, the floor plans we don't mention. The autopsy. Stabbed in the chest. Then shot at point blank. Mm. 
It's not gonna be this. Dude, I don't fucking know. You said it's simple when you get it? Yo, chat, I don't know. I'm about to die right now. Yo, I swear to God, I feel like it's the costume again. They're gonna be like, yo, this shit didn't have a fucking bullet hole thingy. Oh my God. If he was pushed away, the floor, like, the floor should have been extremely bloody then all over the place. That's what I'm saying. Because the crime scene should have been way more bloodier if he was pushed away to a certain distance. Because he wasn't even pushed away that far. Mm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Chat high key, I'm like, I'm just like so fucking out of it right now because I'm so mad about my work situation. Like being being real with you guys, being 100, 2020 vision, I'm like, like my head is so clouded because of this fucking work shit. Because now, because now I'm like, fuck, I got to work two fucking days, 11 hours. And, and this shit is really fucking blowing mine right now. Your game is bugging. The game audio is fucked. How? You said the game audio is choppy? Let me know if it sounds better. How does it sound choppy? Why is it doing that shit again that, that it did last time? Remember that used to happen before? I feel like that only happens. This is, oh my god, the, the stream is cursed. It's the fucking Balenciaga boots, bro. <clears throat> it's the three hour mark thing. It's the Balenciaga boots. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix it. No, oh, I fucked up everything. No boots. Does the audio still sound fucked up? It's good? I don't know why the fuck the audio was was fucked up before. So at this point, it's like, okay. Must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. All right, I'm going to say the gun. Take a look at this. Are you showing me this, pal? So if it's not the gun, I'm just going to keep guessing. 
He said I need to use my brain. Okay, she put some distance between us before rushing to make the final blow. Put some distance. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts that. Fucking knife? Oh my god, bro. I'm taking so much L's this case. I swear to god. I swear to god, I'm taking so much L's this case. After the first part of this case, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I might just end the stream. Because I gotta find out what the fuck's gonna happen with my with this fucking job that I'm currently working at right now. Cause cause I don't know, man. Like family's telling me I should leave within like two weeks. I'm like, dude, I don't even want to leave within two weeks. I might leave like tomorrow. Cause honestly, it's just like, cause to be honest, I don't even want to give them a two weeks notice because I feel like they don't deserve a two weeks notice. Like, like, you know, when you like a job, you would actually try to leave in good terms. But then it's like with this job, it's like, I don't even want to leave in good terms. Like, I just want to fucking dip because I feel like I, I'm I'm not, like, like, like what's happening is bullshit. He said, rest in peace, manager. I, I feel like it's not even worth it. He said, I gave my other jobs a two weeks notice. Um, you said it's the screen? Are you kidding me? I thought it was the screen too, but then I didn't pick the screen because I felt like he was going to say that it's not part of the shit. But the thing is, it's like, I, I thought that the screen thing was, um, I thought that's where the bullet came from to kill the guy. I would like to point out the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Are these two really that clueless? The bullets went through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed through a height of approximately 8 inches off the ground, which means... When the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground. This changes everything. Please look at this diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot. And the bullet hit the folding screen. It hit at this location about 8 inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. I don't know. I'm going to say what? Like, they were here? They must have been around... They must have been around here? I hope. I'm not going to say she's here. I'm going to get this wrong, aren't I? I'm going to say she was like right here. Oh my god. All right. Fuck. There's no way she was here. There's no way. I'm going to say she was here. She has to have been here. Bro, there's no way she was over here just chilling. What? Well, unless she went to the back? Bullshit, isn't it? Did she run to the back because it was dark? You said she was behind the dude? No way! Bro, I'm gonna say she was right here. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. How was he behind the victim? There's no fucking way. 
There is no fucking way. Bro. Here, behind the folding screen, the victim and his attacker were fighting, were they not? Then why would the attacker be doing all the way back there? Besides, which of the attacker was behind the folding screen, then how could the victim even know where to shoot? It's obviously impossible. Yeah, I guess so. Oh my gosh, bro. I guess I lost chat. She's dead. Rest in peace, chat. Rest in peace, chat. Rest in fucking peace. Rest in fucking peace. Oh my god. I didn't save. Oh my god, I already forgot this one. You said cursed boots emote when? Never. Squatting low to the ground. So if she's squatting low to the ground, that means that she was hiding behind the shit. So if she was squatting low, she must have been here behind the shit. Oh my god, where's the area? Are you kidding me? Bro, there's no way Chad is right. Why would she be behind the victim? Remember, I went through her left sleeve. Bro, is this game gonna actually tell me where, like, if it went through her left sleeve, then she must have been crouching here, right? Because she was hiding. So the bullet, if he shoots a bullet and he's trying to hit her and this is her left, it should have been here. You said maybe a pillar. It makes no sense here because this is her right. You said why would she be hiding? Because she was about to get shot at. And, and they said that she was in a squat position. Sense, bro. So where the fuck was she here? 
bro because obviously she should have been within this vicinity if the bullet hit there but now i hit behind no i hit here wrong i hit here wrong everything around here is wrong You know what I'm having right now? I'm having another situation of the gank case where it's where where I'm probably literally hitting the area that she's at, but it's one frame down. Like it's not here, it's here. It, it, it's one of those situations, isn't it? You said directly left of the hole? This? directly left of the hole here bro I'm googling it chat ain't helping I found Chat it. help you out of it before you spoil your Nah, too late. Chat took way too fucking long. Chat took way too long. They literally said it's it's just left. The spot just left of where the hole is on the west side. Bro, are you kidding me? Bro. Bro. Bro, it said it's just left. Bro, not, not, now I can't even, I have to find a legit photo to find where the fuck this shit is at. What the hell? click the wrong place isn't this left and isn't this right are we talking left is this forward and back or are we counting left as this way or this way because I'm thinking from the perspective of him he's looking straight and then from looking straight this is left and this is right and this is forward and this is back now let the fucking chat help you you are gonna spoil yourself the rest of case. You said left is left. No, I'm looking at the perspective of what he's saying. Because if he's looking here, left to me is here. And right is here. So now chat is telling me this is it, right? Right here? I literally clicked here already and he said it was wrong. The victims left? 
So is it there? That's left. You said behind the screen? I literally fucking hit it behind the screen. Bro, I literally hit it here. This game is so fucking stupid when it comes to placements. I literally clicked it there and they said it was wrong. A little bit left and a little bit Oh my god. by the folding screen. Oh my god, we're going to call in the girl. Oh my gosh, they're going to call a lot of heart now. Alright, so I'm definitely going to save here and I'm ending stream. Because now I'm fucking stressed like, be like beyond belief because of fucking work. Because ever since I got that whole phone call from my stupid ass co-worker talking about his foot's fucked up. Now, now I'm like, dude, now I got to work like this whole week by my fucking self 11 hours. Anyway. Thank you guys for coming out to the stream. I will be probably, I mean, I'm probably going to be streaming again sometime this week. Most likely because I'm already, I've already quitted my job because I'm not going to be in that shit anymore because it's fucking bullshit. And now that my co-worker's foot's fucked up, I'ma leave him in in a fucking by himself situation now because he cucked me over being stupid. You do what you think is best. You'll find the way out of this. No, I I I'm gonna do what I think is right. Because at this point, I know the company that they're, they're not gonna try to overcompensate me or anything. They're gonna fucking cuck me. Alright. But buenas noches, my guys. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, um, either Wednesday or Thursday. Hopefully. Hopefully. Peace.